So I'm here today in East Maui watershed just outside of Hana. I'm here with Kanamo and Uncle Sam who are with the Maui Invasive Species Committee and we're now standing in the core infestation area of one of our worst weed types in Hawaii, the Myconia. And these guys have been working on it for close to 10 years. Sam for over over 10 years, 12 years. years. Yeah. And uh, Kanamo, he, you've been here since 2001. And in this area, in this in, in core infestation, there's been intensive um, management operations already over those 10 years where uh, we've used aerial helicopter spraying and weed sweeps on the ground with you guys. And so if you could, what kind of describe to me how you guys would tackle an area like this on the ground. Well, for, for me, when I first came in here and worked, and it was like, uh, and I, I look at the place, and every place you, you walk or look, you know, is all you see is Myconia. And I say, man, we, we're not going to win this battle. Yeah. You know, we, no way we're going to win. But as the years went, you know, oh, I, you know, I was happy, and we see less and less plants, like how you see today. You yeah. Know, you see, like, you got to look for them, you know. Right, right. So I and think, you know, we got to... We got a good control on them. Yeah. You know. And but it didn't come without hard work, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. A lot of hard work. Yeah. A lot of hard work. Yeah. Right. And then with the help of the helicopter and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even within this area, having it been so intensively managed, we still have to stay on top of it. If we stopped yeah. managing, what would what could happen? We'd go back to ground yeah, zero, possibly. Back, right. And so today, what I would like to try to find out is, uh, for their operations, how we might be able to utilize uh, herbicide ballistic technology in these efforts. Again, for the ground sweeps, uh, being able to cover areas, you know, fr from roadside upwards of 30 or 40 feet. If you have a line of sight to your target, uh, can we use HBT to administer a lethal dose to these incipient plants that are continuing to be a real problem for you guys? And so uh, part of it is going to be to find out how these projectiles work on the plant because it is kind of a leggy plant so, and, and it's a soft tissue leaf. So we suspect that, that a projectile going 300 feet per second might be tough to get. But uh, based on some of our early testing, it looks like we can at least make that work. And then the other part of the story is to find the right chemistry that would work on the plant. Currently, you guys are using Garlon 3A. And the projectiles we're using today is with the Mazapir. And so at the very least, we're going to find out if a Mazapir HPT will work on it. And then hopefully in the future be able to look at other chemistries that might also work for it. That's you, man. You're on the hunt. Target acquired. Permission to fire. Permission granted. So what you're going to see is one of the heavy saturation points of the target area where you can see the water soaking and also some of the shrapnel from the uh, capsule. But what I'm really impressed with is the level of soaking that we're seeing, which is a clear indication of a pretty useful adjuvant that was incorporated into the capsule. So now what we just need to wait to see is if the active ingredient is effective on Myconia, which in this case is a Mazapir. So now I'm standing in the heart of this patch, which actually extends out to about 20 feet. Where we were targeting the front of the patch, I'm still seeing good pattern and, and, and spatter on the internal part portions of this Myconia patch, suggesting that the directionality of impact is pushing that herbicide into the, into the canopy, which may assist in our ability to control this plants with HBT.